Hey, what's up? So, I'm just here to talk to uh, those out there who might be aspiring educators or aspiring teachers or working in the educational field, working in a school, um, even, you know, just working as an educator. One of the things that um, you're going to have to be able to do as an educator is um, you're going to have to develop a memory that doesn't, like, you can't hold grudges against kids. Okay, um, we're going to deal with all different types of kids, children, students, um, when we're when we're in this business. And um, sometimes you're going to deal with some tough kids who come to school and maybe they're having a bad day, maybe something happened at home, um, or whatever whatever the reason, um, they might be like disruptive in your classroom. Okay, um, to the point where it really just it really upsets you, get you up, get you you can to the point where sometimes you might not even be able to teach your class. Okay, because this is that disruptive. Um, for for example, at the elementary school level, um, you might be dealing with a kid who throws a temper tantrum. You know, um, kid might take his desk and just flip the desk over. Okay, kid might. Um, you might have a class clown in your room, one who wants to make everybody laugh all the time, and the whole class starts laughing, and you know, or uh, you know, like you might be having a lesson where you're asking questions, okay, asking them questions about reviewing the lesson, and the kid purposely gives you an answer that's that's wrong, but but will make everybody laugh, and it kind of like may embarrass you. Um, sometimes a kid may run around the room. I mean, whatever may happen at the elementary level. All different types of things could happen. Um, at middle school level, same thing, class clowns, you know, um, disruptive talking. So, like, you're trying to, you're standing at, you're standing there trying to teach, deliver a lesson, and the kid is talking over you. You've asked the kid several times to stop talking, and they just won't stop talking. Okay, you've even maybe walked closer to the kid. They won't stop talking. They just keep, keep just going, going, going. They're ignoring you purposely. Um, kind of like trying to control the situation um, to the point where it's disrupted your entire lesson. The kids are laughing. Other kids are laughing. They're waiting to see what you're going to do, what the kid's going to do. It's turned into an argument, that type of thing. High school, um, same thing. You're going to get class clowns. You're going to get disruptive talking. You're going to get kids who, you know, have music. They might play their music loud enough for everybody to hear. And you tell them to stop, and they just refuse to stop, laughing out loud. Um, you might get profanity directed at you. I mean, you might have a kid that says "f you," you know, any type of language like that. Um, call you a b i t c h, uh, anything. You could get a class clown. But the thing about this business, thing about working in education, is that if you're going to be successful in this job, you have to be able to have a short memory when it comes to that type of thing. Um, you know, like let's say this happens at 9 a.m. in the morning, something happens and and let's say maybe you're like in an elementary school and the kid gets out of control and you know, um, later on in the day, now it's, let's say it's 9 a.m. and let's say, let's say it got to the point where the kid had to be removed from your classroom because it just, it couldn't, it didn't work, it wasn't working. You had to call extra help like an administrator or something like that. Um, let's say the administrator takes them, deals with them, calls the parent, deals with the kid, whatever they, whatever they talk about, what do they do? And the kid gets back on track at, and he brings the kid back at 1030. Probably not that long, but let's say there's a time period in between the kid leaves, leaves your room and the kid comes back to your classroom. When the kid comes back, you, you can't, as the educator, have like an attitude towards the kid. Okay. Even though in some cases the kid might still be upset with you or have an attitude towards you. You, as the educator, have to be able to forget the thing that happened with the child, with the student. You have to have a, cell, a short memory. If the kid comes back that same day, let's say at the high school level, uh, some kid cusses you out, man. Yeah, he calls you a, a, a B or, or says F you or, you know, um, you ask him to take their headphones off or you ask them to stop listening to music and they... They tell you, like, in a harsh tone, like, disrespectful tone, they're not going to do it. 
What are you going to do about it if they don't? Okay, that type of thing. Um, let's say that you know you have to discipline the kid, or or let's say it gets to the point where the kid has to be removed from your classroom, at even at the high school level, and then you have that same kid the next day. Like you can't remember what happened the day before that. You can't take it personal. You can't take it out on the kid the next day. You have to come in as the professional and have like a clean slate. Okay, the kid did what they did. And the next day, you, 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 if that kid comes in and does exactly what they're supposed to do, forget about what happened the day before. You can't, we, don't, we don't carry it on as the educator. So that to me, to be successful in this business, you have to be able to develop the mindset that what happened the day before is going to be erased. I can't carry it into the next day with me personally. I can't hold grudges against kids. Okay, kids are kids. They're going to do things. They're going to they're going to be disruptive sometimes. Not all kids, but some will. There are some kids that will never give you an issue, never cause a problem in class. Okay, um, this would be an easy, really easy job if if that was the type of kid that we dealt with all the time. But that's not the case. So develop a mindset that you are able to come back in the next day with a fresh, clean slate, and you're going to move on from what you've moved on from what happened the previous day or the previous hour or 30 minutes ago or whatever it is. You will, you can be, you increase your chances of success. You will decrease your stress level. If you're able to do that, you, you'll increase the chance that you're going to survive in this, in this business and have a long career. Thank you for listening.